Greetings gentlemen and ladies. In this video I'm going to show you how to take your Mixamo retarget char targeted character and uh, use your ALS animations without having to retarget all of your animations and make copies of all your animations and all that sort of mucky stuff. But basically just to uh, use an IK rig to uh, use the assets that are already uh, present within ALS. So here's how we do this. What we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to find our character's skeletal mesh and we're just going to create a new animation blueprint. Uh, I've already got one right here, so I'm just going to open up my animation blueprint. Um, and actually, even before we do that, we're going to do one other thing. We're going to do one other thing, uh, which needs to happen first. Uh, let's actually go back to Content, Advanced Locomotion Folder, and then we can browse for the animation blueprint class ALS anim, anim BP, and we're just going to go to uh, retarget animations retarget animations and what we're going to do from here is we're going to look for our target skeletal character that's in my case the little cat from Mixamo and uh, we've got our source up here and all we're going to want to do here is export the retarget assets so we don't want all the animations, we just want the retarget assets. So you can choose where you want to put those two, and in my case I put them right over into the cat1 folder. What we get is the IK auto-generated source, IK auto-generated target, and the RTG auto-generated. So if you take a look at something like this, uh, what you can see here is that this will actually uh, sync up the animations, all of your animations onto your Mixamo character uh, uh, from your, your DAZ animations as such. You can probably check that and make sure it's working all right for you. And if it is, what we'll do is we'll go back to the part where we, uh, we're going to, remember we're going to go right click, create new, uh, create new uh, animation blueprint, which we probably did before I forgot we didn't do one thing. So go ahead and open up your cat's animation blueprint. Well, not you, you might not have a cat. You open up your character's animation blueprint. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for this one here, the retarget, retarget pose uh, from mesh, retarget pose from mesh node. So we're going to click on that and we're going to look over here and grab this little pull down this kind of, uh, and find our RTG auto generated um, option that we just generated. Uh, remember that was uh, that was this one right here that we just took a look at. So we're going to assign that. We're going to compile. We're going to save uh, our animation blueprint, and now we can go ahead and open up our ALS caricature, and that is found in the blueprint class AL, uh, AL, ALS animation character BP. Going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, I'm going to just switch to viewport here, and what we're going to do is we're going to, under the mesh section right here, uh, you can just go ahead and grab your uh, your character's skeletal mesh asset, drag that right up into uh, as a child of the mesh. I've already done that, as you can see right here, so I'm just going to leave my character there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select our character's uh, animation blueprint, and that will be the animation blueprint that we just made. For our for our custom character in my case it's called cat 1a animation blah 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 just go ahead and compile and save your character may or may not move mine didn't move right away now it's moving but it didn't move right away uh, that was confusing that 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 cost me about two hours I'm trying to figure out why that wasn't moving I ended up jumping into the level and realizing that it was actually working so that's it now you've got your character and it's using all the ALS animations. Now my character is not properly skinned and that's why some of his uh, geometry is attaching to other parts of his geometry so I need to reskin him or re-weight re re the skins but you'll probably have better luck if you're not using such a weirdly disproportional character to your main source character but that's it. hope you guys have found this video helpful and uh, future me when you forget how to do this in the future I hope you find this helpful too. Alright, see you guys later. Oh, one more important thing that I nearly forgot to mention, and that is you're going to probably want to hide your, your blue man mesh. So you can basically just select your blue man mesh, uh, look for hidden in game, and tick on hidden in game. It'll still show in the viewport, but when you jump into the game, it will be gone. Okay. 
Oh, and incidentally, incidentally, I don't see any reason why this same process wouldn't work on other types of characters as well. This is a Mixamo character that I'm importing. That's what the base character is about. This is an ALS character that I'm um, starting with the source. But this process should basically be exactly the same for any sort of starting source skeleton onto any sort of um, target skeleton, as long as they're compatible, as long as Unreal Engine's uh, retargeter is able to figure out how to retarget those bones on its own. Uh, and if not, I guess it gets a bit more complicated. But just so you know, this same process should apply to non uh, IE starting skeletons, or not, sorry, non UE starting skeletons, non Mixamo starting skeletons. You could probably try this with Daz characters or whatever the case may be, but it should be the same. The main important bit is this here in your animation blueprint. So, okay. And, and, and of course, generating that, uh, generating that uh, retargeted asset this one right here rtg auto <clears throat> generated okay that's it for real this time see you guys later